I don't know about you guys, but I can't help but feel that the competitive scene in gaming in 2022 has been really, uh, mid. Unless you prefer to revel in the toxicity of League of Legends or unironically enjoy the trash that is Fortnite and Apex Legends, the, uh, the PvP scene is, uh, pretty dry. Halo Infinite is bare-bones trash that hasn't had a worthwhile update since its launch. Battlefield 2042 once again reminded us that EA is run by corporate shills. As much as I love Splitgate, the player base has all but vanished. The RTS genre is still dead. And I just really don't like fighting games. It probably sounds like I'm shit out of luck when it comes to casual PvP games. But there is a silver lining among the clouds, and that is... Participating in betas and playtests for games that don't have a set release date. Okay, now hear me out, there is a method to my madness. Since I turned 21 about a decade ago, games have had about as much staying power as a bratwurst set of bar mitzvah. <laughs> You see, I am hopelessly addicted to wasting all of my spare money on games I never play, solely to numb the pain of waking up every morning. So to counter that and save money, I've come up with a genius strategy. It doesn't take a genius to see that there are a metric fuck ton of devs constantly hosting closed betas and network tests for their games. Just look on Steam or watch one of the billion YouTube game countdown channels. If any of those games happen to pique your interest, sign up for the inevitable closed beta immediately. Most of these things run on either a lottery or a first come first serve system, so the sooner you sign up, the better. Aside from saving money, taking part in these betas and playtests gives me something to look forward to in my increasingly miserable life. The fact that these tests are time-locked motivates me to sit down and try the game, rather than let it gather dust. Looking past those, there's just something special about participating in a closed beta. Maybe it's the exclusivity, maybe it's the fact that I'm playing a game before the publisher forces microtransactions into it. Part of it could also be the beta bugs are funny rather than upsetting. One of the things I really appreciate is the surprise. I jump into most of these games watching no more than a couple of trailers. Is the game going to be trash, or am I going to have something to look forward to down the line? Even some of the games that aren't PvP look pretty dope. One of the co-op games I'm looking forward to trying is Outpost. I'll be honest, the game looks way too good to be real, and that's another positive to participating in these tests. Seeing an early build may show us whether down the line these games will inevitably be worth investing in. And that's how I happen to be keeping the small part of me that actually enjoys competitive gaming alive. So of the five playtests I've participated in in this last six months, my top three favorite are... I actually hate MOBAs, but Overprime seemed unique enough for me to give it a try. It uses Paragon assets, but all the characters, to my knowledge, have been reworked heavily. It's pretty fun, and I'll probably play it more when there are future tests, or whenever the game launches. Gundam Evolution reignited my appreciation of the hero shooter genre. There's an obvious likeness to Overwatch. However, I feel that Gundam Evolution has enough uniqueness to stand out on its own. A different movement system and varied characters make this hero shooter stick out from the rest. And honestly, I'm way more interested in this than I have ever been for Overwatch 2. Among these games, Leap is my favorite. It's gonna be hard for me to do this one justice in a few sentences, but I'll try anyway. Leap is a class-based shooter that has a very distinct movement system. Players use grapples to gain momentum and glide around a large battlefield. Then they capture objectives and kill other players whilst doing so. 
trust me, it's a lot more fun than I made it sound. And I have to say, both of the times I've playtested this game, it has felt more polished than the launch of both Battlefield 2042 and Cyberpunk 2077. I'll have a link to all three of these games in the description below. Be sure to let me know if there's any betas or playtests you're interested in. And as always, feel free to like, subscribe, or cancel me on Twitter, because none of this shit matters anyway.